Tiger Tank 1 2, I mean, call me, I don't really care. Welcome back to World of Tanks, where we're today taking a look at the Kitovets 1, and we're taking a look at its weak spots and the weak spots of the front part of the vehicle because the side is also quite trollish. But obviously, you're gonna be able to penetrate the side armor. Um, I'm gonna show you guys one place where you can easily penetrate it, but it doesn't really need a lot of explaining. So, the front part of the Kitovets 1 is a part that is not very easy to penetrate if you're in a tier 7 tank or even a tier 8 medium. So you need to know the places where you can actually go through. With the IS-2S, we wanna show you the places and then I'm gonna switch over to the T44-100 so you can see what it's like in a tier 8. Um, the Kitovets 1 has 140 millimeters of, penetra uh, of armor at the front, that is the upper plate, and the lower plate is not as thick. So if you shoot the upper plate, you can see almost no chance to go through with 175 millimeters of penetration with the IS-2S. The angle is also very good, and it's very difficult to go through. But if you shoot the lower plate, you're not go going to be able to penetrate it every single time, but you should be able to penetrate one or two shots for every three or four you put in there. So um, if you're right in front of the Kitovets one, you can see you're going to be able to do damage even with the standard shell. Now if you would switch over to the APCR shell, you can see that it's going to be um, a, a much easier affair. But even with the AP shell, it doesn't seem to be that bad. So. You know, if you do really not want to use premium shells in a tier 7 heavy tank, which I still advise you to advise you to do if you go up against tier 8 and 9s, um, you can see that they do work quite well on the lower plate on the Kitovets. That thing does change though, as soon as the Kitovets is angled towards you. As you can see right here, this is an angle that would happen occasionally in a battle. You might bounce even with 250 millimeters of penetration. But what you can do right here is you can shoot the side armor. Now, you can go right through between, between the tracks right there. Um, do not shoot the upper part because that is where there is spaced armor. But if you shoot in between the tracks or even at the tracks down here, you're going to be able to go right through the tank. Now, one more thing that you can do when the tank is in front of you and it's in a hull down position. I'm just going to show you that. Um, the issue is that... Usually Kitovets are quite close and they will be moving, so in a combat scenario when they are moving it's going to be quite difficult to hit these weak spots. And 217 millimeters of penetration, um, which you have with the premium shells, are not going to be enough to actually reliably always penetrate the weak spots up here, the two parts. You will be able to penetrate them once or twice, but there is not a guarantee that you're going, you're going to be able to go through. Then also what you have right here is the alignment between the gun mantlet and the turret. If you shoot right here with enough penetration, you're going to be able to go through. And that's what happened right there. So right here, then you also have the, um, the hull and where the turret aligned, the turret ring. But we're going to pick the T44-100 real fast. And I'm going to show you some more weak spots and how you can deal with the Kirovets 1. Especially if the Kirovets 1 is face hugging you because that is something that will happen uh, occasionally so let's jump on over and switch the to the t44 100 okay so if you're playing a t44 100 which has a hundred and uh, 190 millimeters of penetration which is okay it's not the best but it's also not the worst firing at the lower plate very easy you're going to be able to go through every single time except if he is hiding it or he has an hang he has an angle on it now shooting the um the weak spot up, up top as mentioned prior very difficult to to go through with standard shells but if you switch over to apcr that's something that you can do you can see that the indicator which i would suggest you guys use um, because it does help occasionally it shows you that it's green and you're going to be able to penetrate that part now that is something you can really easily do right here with um at least 247 millimeters of penetration you should be in a should be way way more than enough to go through that part you can even penetrate the upper plate um with the 247 millimeters of penetration because of the angle that you have on the tank now right now it doesn't really work that well but usually you should be able to do it i'm just going to fire one more time and hopefully we get a pen this time no it doesn't work 
So, what happens if the Kidovets is face-hugging you? Um, you have several options. Now, first and foremost, because you're right in front of him, you can fire down at his upper hull. Then, another part, as I mentioned prior, you can shoot these um, two heads on top. And also, you can shoot at the mantlet, or right next to the mantlet, right here, when you're playing the 34 100 because it's quite easy to pen, because it's an IS-3. And you can also even shoot right here and penetrate the part of the tank uh, where the hull aligns with the turret, which is the, um, the armor on top of the tank. Very easy to deal with that. If you're right in front of him, you can just shoot right in there. But if you have trouble facing the Kidovets in a tier 8 medium tank, uh, remember the cupolas up top with more than 200 and... I think more than 220, 30 millimeters of penetration, you're going to be able to deal with that. And also the lower plate, if he's just out there, and if he's coming towards you, you can always just shoot in between the turret and the, the hull armor, as I mentioned prior, and then also on the left side where the gun mantlet aligns with the armor of the turret. So I think that should be enough for the Kidovets 1. Hopefully all of the weak spots have been shown. And I'm going to do this, continue with the next tank. I'm probably going to put it in the list somewhere so you guys can pick. And I'll do that um, next time. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully I could help out with a little bit of um, good old school weak spot spotting. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you on the next video. Until then, have a good one.